Last time I was in Iowa, a woman gave me cookies on stage. Her name's Christina. And I haven't spoken to her in forever. Is there any chance she's at this show? Wait, shut the fuck up! Christina! How have you been? Your daughter's great. Okay, clearly there's a lot of people here who have no idea what happened. Um, oh yeah, I forgot her titty squeak. I forgot about that. I forgot that I was like, too familiar. Do they still squeak? Shut the fuck up, dude! What? You've never changed up. You are still the original Christina, and I adore you. One more time. You get your titties on a pet smart. <laughs> How's Maggie? Tell her I said help. You know what? Call her. Please, can I call Maggie one more time? For real? Okay. <laughs> Tell him you're sorry. <laughs> you're so hot. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> My bad. How are you? I'm good. The three of you look fantastic. Trying to be. <laughs> Are you still in Florida? Yes, I'm in Miami now. You in Miami now? Well, we lost a good one. <laughs> Do you have a bath bomb in or is it just dirty? <laughs> oh, okay, I thought you were just washing Miami off you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get back to, to, talk, to talking to your mom. I just wanted to say hi real quick. All right. It's literally just her and I and not 3,000 people, so. Your OnlyFans subscribers are about to go way up. Bye, Maggie. How, how old are you? 68. 68, and what is your name? Sandy. Sandy, like from Greece. Give me a sign? What's the sign say? Waited a year to see Matt Reif, had eye surgery, and now I can't see shit. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now you won't be able to pick me out of a lineup. <laughs> Hold on, you, you had eye surgery, and now you can't see? What was it before? And yeah. then three, three days later, I got fluid behind my retinas, so now I can't see. <laughs> three days later, I got fluid behind your retinas. Oh. Your dirty talk is terrible. <laughs> uh, this is so bad. We gotta, we gotta get this figured out. I hate that you can't see. Do you have glasses? Put them on. <laughs> And my three-year-old drew you a picture. My great-granddaughter. You, you have a great-granddaughter? I have three great-granddaughters. Three great-granddaughters? <laughs> also, dude, to have great-grandchildren by, what was it, 60, 68 is the most Ohio shit, dude. <laughs> Do you know how many greats are that? That's like four generations of fucking in one lifetime, dude. Great-grandparents are supposed to be like 140. That is so ridiculous. I'm gonna roll this back up. Can you sign it? Will I sign it? I'll do that. You have a marker? Got it. 
You don't have your will on you by chance, dude. So, uh, so, all right, hold on. Matt Rive fucked Sandy. <laughs> To death. <laughs> there you go, Sandy. You have my cap? You want that right there? <laughs> Sandy, is it okay if I give her this? <laughs> you want the bottle? <laughs> yeah, watch your mouth before I use it as your urn. <laughs> What are you drinking on? What's in that cup? Root beer. Root beer? Okay, you feisty bitch. Oh my goodness. You are something else. Oh my goodness. What, you got your ankles out? Who are you? You trollop? You got tattoos? Shut up. What are your tats? Oh man. What's that say? Vote for Reagan? What does that say? What tattoos you got? My daughter's fingerprint, she died two years ago. Daughter's fingerprint, that's very lovely. Her handwriting for something she wrote to me. Handwriting? I have the same thing for my grandfather. And then this is my her birth and death. Oh, an infinity sign. Oh, it's mostly memorial stuff. Yeah, this isn't very lighthearted at all, Sam. You could have uh, <laughs> yeah, told me, ah, nah. My granddaughter and I have matching tattoos of this. You're and then the gran you, you and your granddaughter have matching this tattoos. One, and that one's alive? Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to make sure. You have ones on your back too? Sh oh, Sandy, you watch your mouth. What's, what, what's on your back? All my grandkids. All your grandkids? Oh man, that sounds adorable. But I'm picturing that scene from Nightmare on Elm Street where like all the faces are fucking coming through the <laughs> Man, shout out to everybody who got that. That is such a specific reference. <laughs> Oh, it's gross though. If you know, you know. That's gross. She talks about, she talks about me every day? Yeah, Sandy. You digging yourself a hole. It's about six feet deep. Man, she can't even get her sweater on. That's so fucking hot, dude. Or are you more of an Elvis gal? Elvis was your guy? Okay. I saw him twice. You saw him twice? Yeah. In concert? Richfield Coliseum. Richfield Coliseum? Where is that? No, it's not there anymore. It's not there anymore? Damn, that old. Okay. I had a friend that I went with. You had a friend that you went with? Okay. Got tickets for her. Okay. In the front row because she was... You got front row tickets for her. Yeah. Not for yourself. No, I was like in row seven. Row seven? You got your friend better tickets than well, you? Because she was like, oh. And I saw her after the show. She was walking like she was like I couldn't even get her to look past her. After the show, she was walking like what? Like I'm gonna be when we leave here. She was just <laughs> From what I think I heard, Sandy said, my friend watched the show in the front row when we were leaving. She was walking like I don't even know what, like how I'll be leaving here. <laughs> On a gurney? <laughs> oh boy. So you're leaving the concert and your friend is just... Walking around like young Forrest Gump, just fucking throwing hip to hip. She was walking like, he touched me. Oh my god. He, he touched her? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Elvis would have touched your hand. It's okay. It was my, she was my friend. She loved him. Oh my god, that is so precious. She said, I don't care. It's my friend. And she loved him. Oh. I know. That's. Smell like Ben Gay and roses. 
Oh my goodness. Are you crying? <laughs> From laughter, I hope. No? no? no. From touching my head? Shut up. <laughs> Can you have a picture? Absolutely you could have a picture. Do you have a, do you have a phone? Yeah, you can find your own way home, right? Yeah. There you go. Give me a hug. Nice to meet you. Thank you. My pleasure, Sandy. Electricity in Kentucky, fuck yeah, good start, dude. What's up, everybody? What's up, Lola? How is everyone? How is everyone's okay? Good to see y'all, dude. Thanks for coming out. Who are you pointing at? The little girl right here. <laughs> A little girl right here. Is there a little girl? Yeah, she's like a little girl right there. So. How, how old are you, little girl? 34. 34? 24? Do you get told that you're young quite often? Yeah. You're gonna want to look young for, for as long as you can, right? Yeah. yeah. Mazel tov. <laughs> That was a pedophile in the back mad that you're 24. <laughs> She was a little girl. So close. <laughs>
really hope you enjoy yourself and continue to enjoy yourself the rest of your night. But I just want to remind you, no matter what you went through this year, next year you are going to be fucking kill it. No one can stop you. Do whatever you want to do. Enjoy yourself and love your people. That's all I have. Let's beat that. Let's beat that. I can beat that with some gay shit, but I'm just gonna say some shit that resonates with all this. Listen, this is all the same they say in Texas, and that raise your glass real quick, okay? There's two things in life that we don't fuck with, okay? And that's rattlesnakes, and that's condoms. You know what I'm talking about? There you go, man. With tonight? My mom. That's your mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> how, how old are you? 70. 70? What's, what's your name? Pam. Pam. And I didn't even ask your name. Jay. Jay? Damn, I thought it was gonna be Igor or some shit, dude. I was, I was really hoping for like a fairy tale name. No, just fuck, just one letter, really. Jay. How old are you, Jay? 38. 38. And what GameStop do you work at? <laughs> This is look like, this motherfucker sell you a PS2, dude, 100%. You can bring in a PS5, and the best I can do is you owe me $30. Oh my god, I bet you beat your dick like Guitar Hero, dude. <laughs> expert level, expert level. He's, he's, using, he's using all the fingers. Pam, I'm so sorry. He, he does not come. He does not. He does not. He does not do that. What do you, I'm sorry, what do you actually do? Uh, whatever I gotta do. Whatever you gotta do? Yeah. I mean, you gotta let me fuck your mom, dude. I mean, you gotta. I'm, I'm, Pam, I'm kidding! I'm kidding! I'm kidding, but I would, I, would, I would trade in all of my God of Wars. I would. I would. He's, ah! He said, the best I can do is a hand job! Well, are you naturally blonde? Look, it looks too good to be true. How long does that take to grow out? Like two years. Two years? Man, to not get pussy for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding! We are not going into 2024 taking things serious, you guys. We're all fucked and we're all gonna die, okay? The ocean's already too hot. We might as well get in that fucking bath, dude. Make the most of our time. <laughs> mm. Okay. What was that? Oh, I thought Pam queefed, dude. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck happened. Where's uh, Dad? Dad? Heaven? <laughs> Would you ever date again? Ever? Would you ever? You would never redo it. That is fucking beautiful. Selfish. Very beautiful. Forty years was long enough. It sounds like you killed him. Forty years was long enough. He had to go. He was very tired. Motherfucker. <laughs> I had no idea. Is it prosthetic? Where from? Me? I'm breaking it down a little bit. You gotta, you gotta take some jokes a little bit. Throw it out there, a little flirtation. Like, am, do I mean it? Am I serious? Am I joking around? Am I pulling your leg? No. <laughs> nah, I wasn't. I'm not. You, you what, Jay? I'm on board. You are so sweet, man. <laughs> you look like Gandalf the White. <laughs> like if you try to steal from his GameStop, he's like, you shall not pass. <laughs> oh, but it's Pam's leg. Jay, go to your room. <laughs> jigsaw puzzles? Yep. You, you love a good puzzle, Pam? She said jigsaw puzzles, and I, I asked if she liked jigsaw puzzles. I said, how rude of me to ask somebody that who's missing a piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, you guys. I know. 
I'm not proud of it. It's hilarious. I am. That was hilarious. You what? I'll buy you a Pappy Van Winkle right no, now. No, no, what the fuck is a Pappy Van Winkle? That sounds like something Pam used to masturbate. <laughs> That's Pappy Van Winkle. That's a real. That's a real. <laughs> Two hour showers. Take two hour showers. Oh, by himself? Sounds like you should have been in there by like hour one. I'm actually thinking about my son. You're thinking about your son? Oh, that boy is fucking. Yeah. But how old is your son? He's 15. He's 15? Oh, yeah. Don't touch his towers. What was your, is your guy behind you? Husband? Of how long? 15 years. 15 years? That's all the time for you. 15 year old child, 15 year old marriage. I'm sure that's a coincidence. Not at all, of course. And when you first met him, what was his red flag? What were you like, mm, I'm gonna look past it for now. I married my friend's She said, I married my drug dealer. He sells drugs. <laughs> You're Chuck. Oh, what, what, what do you do? You're a property manager? Yeah, this just seems like an excuse to use a unit to go legal. You guys got a little Breaking Bad situation going on. You guys are awesome. I'm sure you guys are super fun parents. Is this weed I found in your jacket? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm not mad that you're smoking weed. I'm mad that you bought it from somebody else. Dirty car. Dirty car? Dirty car? <laughs> well, what kind of car is it? <laughs> Which would you rather fuck in? A, a, a disgusting Lamborghini or like a beautiful O2 Honda Accord? You know what I mean? These gas prices? Yeah, you about to start fucking on bird scooters. So this gas is your pizza. <laughs> it's definitely doable. You've seen people riding the scooters, right? <laughs> Just add in a little bit of torque, you know? What kind of car do you drive? A Honda. A Honda? Oh my god. What year? <laughs> if it's 02, show's over. Do you understand? What, what year is your Honda? 07? Yeah, you got a love brain. Are you kidding me? The, the audacity of your standards right now, to be honest. Oh my god. <laughs> you lucky to get fingered on the bus at this point. Are you kidding me? In 07 Honda having all these standards. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Dirty car. Right in your car, like, it stinks in here. I know, right out the window. Okay. After a second date, I had a guy that I've seen build me a build a bear. Alright, hold on. So her red flag is she dated the nicest guy of all time. <laughs> After the second date you went on with a guy, he built you a Build-A-Bear? That's cute as fuck. Two dates? Five. I hope you get no more gifts for the end of time. You're so ungrateful. Oh my god, I'm gonna love a Build-A-Bear. Are you kidding me? Fifty dollars? Why do you have a problem with guys being nice to you? When's the last time you spoke to him? Let's see if this is reasonable. 
protect the bear? Good question. <laughs> Very good question. Just in the middle of the night, she hears. <laughs> yeah, it's a little creepy. Yeah, you know, right, it's, it's a little creepy. Was that the last guy you went on a date with? Yeah. Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope the next one gets you a black eye or something you can really, <laughs> something you can appreciate. You know. I just send that into a microphone, dog. Like, that's, that's so fucking Florida. Oh my god. He doesn't like when you go out with your friends. He doesn't like when you go out with your friends? Are they guy friends? <laughs> Are they whores? <laughs> I don't know, that's tricky. I gotta beat all your friends. And are they hotter than you? <laughs> Preferably yes. <laughs> it's like cool. All right, you're not gonna be the star. Good. You're not gonna be. The star. Is that is that something you're dealing with currently? Yes, something friends deal with. Yeah. It's something your friends deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Is that friend here? I know. You are the friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in a relationship right now with a guy who doesn't like you going out with your girls. No, I'm single. She's I'm single. I'm I bet. <laughs> Your. She's the single friend that he doesn't like her going out with. Oh. So you fuck around. It's not her, it's him. Call him up. I need both sides of the story right now. Alright, this is, this is your best friend, I assume. And now she's clashing with your boyfriend, so. No, no, no. Her boyfriend. What the fuck is happening in this story right now? This story has changed seven times. I thought you said she was single. Her, her, best, friend has a controlling boyfriend. her best friend has a controlling boyfriend. Yes. Where yes. is the girl with the boyfriend? Not here. Oh, this bitch in a basement somewhere? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. She's not missing much because this story sucks, man. Uh, good luck explaining this to the cops. Where is she? Well, my friend has this boyfriend who's like kind of controlling with his friend's girlfriend. Definitely tr translator, yes? Yeah. Okay. Did you guys know it was me tonight, or were you just coming just avid comedy fans? Fan. Of comedy or me? Of you. Of me? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my, thank you so much. I just thought, I didn't know maybe you guys just watched a lot of Def Jam, or... <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your name, love? My name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Yeah. So, Elizabeth, do you have a, do you have a boyfriend? I'm no, I know. This is like um, this is like having a conversation with a news reporter. <laughs> <laughs> Type faster, okay? I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> uh, no, I actually, I, I, I did, I did try to date a deaf, a deaf girl for a little bit a couple of years ago, but and she was great. I mean, the, the relationship, there's no problems with this. This bitch just wouldn't listen to me. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. How am I not supposed to do these jokes? <laughs> I love how you guys got weird with me starting to flirt with her, like I was the asshole. Like, I'm, not, I'm not gonna fuck a death girl, you can just put that. Yeah, no, I'd love oh to, God. I just, I, cause I don't want to get hearing aids. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, 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 And as a matter of fact, they belong to Elizabeth, okay? <laughs> She's the one reading them. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go with Elizabeth. What are some red flags for a guy? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Children. Children? Yeah, don't fuck those. <laughs> Good red flag. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I don't even want to dive into that. <laughs> Sounds like somebody learned a lesson the hard way. <laughs> Sounds like you got a basement just like this. <laughs> I assume you meant when a guy has children. 
Is that correct? Yes, Thank God. <laughs> Why is that a red flag to you? I don't want to deal with the baby mama. Oh. I think she feels about you. <laughs> Have you dated a guy with kids? Fuck no. Then how do you know it's that bad? Uh, okay. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Well, yeah, they just got there. <laughs> I mean, he just bust like nine months ago. <laughs> Kids? Wait, are you Latina? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Can't have any kids dying alone. 100%. Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? But, uh, what, what is it about kids that you don't like? You're too young for kids? How old are you? 30? I don't know how much you remember about health class, but you're almost too old for kids. I don't know if you know that. There's more people in this room than you have eggs left. I don't know if you know that. Sorry, Latina, huevos. I don't know how many huevos you have in there. Okay. Sorry. Like, how do I possibly top what I did last year? As we know, there's a reason you put up with crazy shit in a relationship, right? Pussy. Yup. I can't see you, but I want to believe that was God. You know what I mean? You're 52. Who are you here with, man? My wife. Oh shit. 17 years. What's your name, man? Troy. Troy, great to meet you, Troy. Sixteen year old daughter. Why why are you telling me that? That seemed like a setup, didn't it? What's up? I'm Troy, been married 17 years, have a 16 year old daughter, don't mind the math on that. Definitely got marriage out of force. But she's fine as fuck and ready to mingle. Why you like why you pitch your family like it's the beginning of an episode of Next on MTV? Remember that shit? What's up? I'm Troy. I'm 52. I love pussy. And I got married because she got pregnant. What would you say is the key to keeping things fresh and exciting after 17 years, though? Space. Space. I know she means like personal space, but I want to believe like they only jerk off to like videos of the Milky Way. You know what I mean? Like they they just fuck to like audio books by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Like <laughs> now nah, you got fuck you ever fucked to space? I don't want to hear about your wife's black holes, dog. I'm, I'm all right. In what? You're literally scraping food onto a plate while you're talking to me about sex. I'm enjoying you're enjoying yourself? Have you ever tried it quietly? <laughs> like meditation or... What's that? Your inability to please others. Oh, 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 my inability to please others. No. Oh, no, I could definitely make you come, for sure. <laughs> Who are you here with? Myself. By yourself? No. <laughs> Damn. You couldn't even get somebody to come with you. That's wrong. Damn. I'm a nice person. Okay? 
You guys see I didn't start that? <laughs> it does finish it. I comedically like gave you a facial, dog. Like I, I don't know how much better it can be. So trash. <laughs> Buffalo, dude. <laughs> You saw, you saw me barely touch it, right? Is it, Don't make the oh, that one right there? You knew this was gonna happen. That's why there was a backup. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Let's see. How do I... Hey guys, I don't work at Radio Shack. <laughs> Fucking tell me how to do equipment stuff. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There we go. It's also loose, right? Uh, I gotta, I gotta hold my shit like a rapper. The whole show. Let's go. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, is there a wireless one? Oh, shit. We got options? Okay. I'm gonna put this back. It's on now. Check, check. Nope, nope, nope. So what do y'all want to do after this? <laughs> it's on now, right? else to do like, <laughs> it's not it's still not on I can go back to that one all right here we go let's fuck it yeah that'll be fine we can just leave the the core of this one off that's okay I'm not you see I'm not even touching it right like that's I, this shit's bound to move around. The wireless not shitty good enough. <laughs> Bro, this shit feels <laughs> Bro, This shit feels like I'm like the base of an orgy and I'm just like ah, eh, 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 the whole fucking time. <laughs> Alright, let's hope this is the one. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I fucking hate this city, man. This shit would never happen in Albany. I wish I could turn y'all's mic off right now. I really do. <laughs> Anybody have any weed? That's gonna help me get through this like tremendously. Good. Is weed legal in Alabama? It's not. Good, because I I personally love to vape. Uh, just regular, just regular, um, just regular. It's a hookah stick. It's pure nicotine. How cool are the cops? How cool are the cops gonna be? I feel like I feel like this this, this scene in um fucking Gladiator. Just fucking give me a. Why'd you let me do that? <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you for it's it's been a white privilege. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, you do not have a white privilege card. Let me see this. White privilege trumps everything. Wow, dude. There's a back? Yes. 
This card grants its bearer happiness and success because it's the color of your skin and not the choices you make that determine your abilities to be successful. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Now give me the N word pass. Trades, tradesies, tradesies. Tra yeah. Nope. Y'all thought. Y'all thought. Y'all thought. A white man owns the company that sells me. Really? <laughs> well, if that isn't reparations, that's a beautiful thing right there. A black man selling white privilege. That. You know, I love 2023. I'm actually totally okay with that. How did you know he had the cards? We been in line. We're all friends now. He pulled out the card in line? That might be the whitest thing to do, by the way. <laughs> you, you, you ever heard of white privilege? Yeah, I know it's a thing. No, it's really a thing. You gotta, you gotta know a guy. You gotta, you, gotta, sorry, you gotta know a couple guys. You gotta know a group of guys. We all meet on Wednesdays. We all wear white. You should really come in line. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a good time. It's, uh, Thirteen, like the amendment? <laughs> Red flag number one is when she has another guy in her life who is consistently trying to sleep with her and she refuses to acknowledge this. This is good. This is gonna cause a lot of fights in the car right home. This is my favorite one. You clapping hard as fuck. You had a you had an argument recently. <laughs> like I said, this isn't the funniest month, but you better believe every dude in here in a relationship right now knows the guy in his girl's life that he's like, fuck that dude. I'll kill him tomorrow. <laughs> It's so obvious to us, right? As the boyfriend, this shit is clear as day. We can spot it from a mile away. Usually the beginning of the relationship. We'll clock it. We'll pull you aside. Hey, babe, I, uh, I know you hang out with so-and-so. And that's, that's, that, that, that's fine. You're a grown woman. You can do whatever you want. I'm not controlling or anything. But just, just so you know, that dude's trying to fuck you. And women will always have the exact same naive reaction. Babe, come on. He's serious. Him? You're worried about him? He's literally like my best friend. Like he's literally, he's literally like a brother to me. Oh. Word? Oh, that's your brother. Oh, I didn't realize what kind of porn hub family tree you were associated with. But shut it down, okay? He's not your friend. He's not your brother. He wants to enter your body holes. End of story, okay? If, ladies, you have to understand the, the reason, the reason we are so passionate about bringing this to your attention is not because we think you're stupid. It's not because we don't trust you. It's that you're being taken advantage of. You're hanging out with somebody who's lying about their intentions so they can weasel their way into your life. And that's not a real friend. That's some shady shit to do. So we're just trying to point out something that's happening under your nose so hopefully you can be aware of it and put a stop to it. I, I promise you, we are coming at it with good intentions. And you still want to get mad at us and act like we're the crazy ones making this shit up. Oh, that is so ridiculous. Why would a guy go through all that trouble and pretend to be my friend just to sleep with me? I don't know. <laughs> but I've done it so many times. I've done it so many times. How do you think I got you, stupid? Come on. Oh my God. Nobody, no, nobody has been a better friend than me. Are you kidding me? That's why dudes can spot the shit. Cause fucking game recognize game. You know what I mean? He'll do, he'll do some shady shit and we're like fucking good move. That's what shit I would have done, you know? Fuck you, but respect. <laughs> he is not your friend, ladies. And if you really do treat him like your best friend, oh, that's so much worse. Because if you treat him like your best friend, that means 
You have gone to him with all of your secrets, all of your problems. He knows everything you like, everything you don't like. You've probably complained to him about everything your boyfriend does wrong. <laughs> so now this motherfucker has all the infinity stones to become the perfect guy for you. So, so when you and your boyfriend finally break up, who do you go run into? <laughs> Me. And I've been waiting for this moment, boy. Weeks, months, maybe years. I've been waiting for this exact opportunity, bro. I've been, I've been putting in work, too. I've been, I've been sending you memes in the morning. I've been, I've been texting you, how's your day going? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your day. Are you stupid? It's my day. I care about my day. Come on, man. It's about patience. All I've had to do is play it cool and stay in the game long enough and wait for the day that you come banging on my door, <laughs> crying your eyes out. And I just have to play stupid, like... Oh, whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. Why are you crying? He said he doesn't trust me. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Y'all broke up? Oh my God. I am so sorry. Oh, some dudes are so insecure. Oh my God. He's not your fucking friend. Stop falling for his shit, ladies. I'm trying to tell you. Breathe. Shut up. Now, I understand this is the part of the red flag that I, I'm sure a lot of the women in the audience are thinking, well, Matt, what about the reverse? How about when a guy has a girlfriend? What about that? And I, I hear you. Look, ladies, you can be, look, a guy can have a girl that is just a friend. No, listen, 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 listen. Listen. I'll wait. You as a girl can be just a friend to a guy, but it means you're ugly. I'm sorry, I know you don't want to hear it, but you just a homie with a ponytail. I don't know what else to tell you, man. Men and women can be just friends, but one of y'all fucking busted, okay? Somebody ugly, <laughs> or maybe both, maybe both you were ugly, in which case y'all should be fucking anyways. That's why it's called bumping uglies. She completely deaf. Yep. I can't hear anything. She can't hear anything? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Is that fucked up? Is that wrong? Alright, alright, don't, don't, don't sign this one. Don't sign, no, don't fucking tell her not that you're not gonna sign it. No, don't read my lips. No. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> She's deaf, she didn't hear shit. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. How do I say nice to meet you in sign language? Cut her hearing aids off with the scissors. I got it. I fucking got it. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh, what's up, my man? I didn't even see you here. How you doing, brother? Doing good. How do, man, the fact that you could hear better than her is insane to me, dude. How, how old are you? 73? Holy shit, man. Oh, my God. Did you, did you fight for the South or the North? What, what is your name, brother? Bob. Bob. Pleasure to meet you, Bob. You're, uh, you're, you're retired now? Yeah. What did you used to do? Sold carpet. What was it? Sold carpet. Sold carpet? Yeah, nobody really shaved back then, huh? 
The good old days, huh, Bob? Where are you from, brother? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio? I'm sorry. Oh, some people in here. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, man. Oh, nice. Bob, who, who are you here with today, Bob? Son and daughter. Pleasure to meet you guys. Your dad's fucking awesome, man. He is awesome. 73? Holy shit. How long you been in the chair for? How long? 13 years. It's nice to just relax, isn't it? Optimism. Optimism Prime. <laughs> Transformers, Bob. It's a cartoon. It's, they turn it into a movie, and the movie's inconsistent. You're not missing anything. You, you, drug, you drug them out the house to this? Oh, my God. Thank you. Who said that? Who said they love Bob? Give him some pussy. Good. We're gonna put that dick in a splint. We're just gonna. They literally dated a guy because she had to drive around and he's in the military. Oh. <laughs> Was she driving him in a fucking tank? Like, what, what branch? Army. Army? Yeah, let's boo the people protecting us. Let's do that. Uh, woke up, had a, a, a couple meetings, and then uh, and I joined the army. <laughs> and I had consensual sex with somebody. <laughs> so that was uh, pretty productive day. Uh, well, sorry to hear about your car. Okay, it was a gnat. Wait, it's what? Oh, did you see it? Yeah. Fucking say something next time. We have big gnats here. The big gnats here? I think those are called flies. Dude, hold on. Dude, do I have it? Do I have it? Moment of truth. Yeah, I'm an assassin, bro. I don't know you. Well, show's not gonna get better than that. So I think we should all get out of here and go to fucking Bass Pro Shop or whatever y'all do around here. What's in there? Can I have it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a MILF. You're a MILF? With the oh. <laughs> Just because you got kids don't mean you a MILF. Uh, Thank you so much. All right, you don't need to. Hand, I can see there's a lot in here. You don't need to hand me all of them. Okay, thank you. Thank, all right, so we'll save some for your children, maybe. I'm gonna put them back in here. Wow, look, it's a Missouri salad. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> it's combos. Wait. Is a folder? Yeah. Is it your record? What the fuck is it? It's a sexual consent form. This is legit. So he goes the sit down before you're not able to. So it's a it's a legitimate sexual consent form. Um, the parties. This sexual consent form is made July 12th. Oh, only today, huh? Man, man. Don't, it's tomorrow. I was open to it. Man. The proposer. And consenter, Matt Reif, not my signature, by the way. I'm very, very clear about that. Uh, whereas the proposer and consenter are sexually attracted to each other. And would like to manifest that sexual attraction through participation in one or more sexual acts. Time. Therefore, the consent and proposer make their bodies available to each other for the aforesaid purpose from 11.30 p.m. on the date of July 12th 
till for a period of 24 hours. Let's change that to 24 minutes. And, uh, activities. Oh, there's a check. There's a checklist for activities that are approved. Uh, full body touching. Check. Kissing. Check. Digital penetration. What does that? What does that mean? Digitally. You put a USB in somebody's pussy. What does that mean? Fingers? Oh, digits. Oh. No. Uh, oral sex receiving? Okay. Oral sex giving? I'm all right. The proposer is using the following methods of contraception on an ongoing basis. It just says the pill. I don't trust that it's not just Tylenol. I'm just gonna process what we've been through in 14 minutes. I almost fell. I killed a bald eagle, or is what we're gonna tell people. We're gonna tell people it was a, it was a dangerous animal. And I was raped on paper. I only work out with black dudes. Exclusively. Because black dudes will push you to your limits whether you want to or not. I started about six months ago, man. I was in the gym one day and I was having a bad day. I was, I was stressed about something. I was angry about something. And I was like, man, fuck this. I'm, I'm going to use this negative as a positive. I'm going to use this aggression. I'm going to put up some weight. And I was hitting a chest day. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to hit a new max on the, on the bench press. You're supposed to have a... Um, spotter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spotter so you don't die. And... I didn't know anybody in there at the time. Closest person to me was the black dude at the bench next to me. So I walked over. I was like, hey, man, would you, uh, would you mind spotting me for this set real quick? And he was like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I was like, I feel like you do. <laughs> Everything about your voice is safe. I feel like I can lift the world now. Okay, come on. So we, so we go over to the bench together. He, he gets behind the rack in the spot position. He's ready. I lay down, and I'm... Get it off the rack. Oh, I get one rep in. Oh, I get two reps in. I get, I, I get stuck on the third. My, my, my arms start shaking. And he can see this. So like any good spotter, he has some words of encouragement. I'm trying not to die. And this man just gets in my ear <laughs> and do that shit do that shit it ain't nothing I was like ah. <laughs> I said I, I don't know man I'm, I'm getting kind of tired he was like my people been tired I was like god damn only like 255 you had white guilt on top of that's like 500 pounds man i was like is this, this pre-workout or a history lesson what are we doing dog so that's my new routine whenever somebody's like you look good matt you want a diet i'm like yeah it's called white watchers you should try it so, so when black people watch white people struggle you will sweat i promise you how long ago was this This was an ex-husband of yours? After you guys got divorced, he got super religious? He just got re-engaged to the pastor's daughter? Look at God. You know what I mean? Won't he do it? You know? I mean, after, after you married to Satan for a certain amount of years, you, know, you kind of want to turn your life around. You, know? I gotta, you gotta dedicate your life to the good, to the good one. What, what was his religion? Do you remember like, what his thing was? Baptist. Ba so, like, Baptist? Okay. Uh, what about him being Baptist was like, kind of annoying to you? Like, what practices are part of the religion? Um, sex. Sex? <laughs> what about it? Strictly missionary. Strictly missionary. She's okay now. 
You're saying it like some Catholic dude just tore it up from the back before the show. And you're like, this is my religion, absolutely. Oh my God. Gross. Don't, I don't need all that information. I do think I'd be a good dad, but just not yet. Daddy. No. <laughs> I'm Baptist, you call me father. <laughs> Thanks for airing out her fucking laundry. <laughs> you already paid for the wedding venue? Yes. Why? <laughs> Were you engaged? Oh well, no, we've been dating four years. We dated in high school for two, and we want to get married next year. So you're not officially... Did he propose to you? Did he say, will you marry me? No, but he said... No? Well, no. You're crazy. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. That is insane to do that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him you're cheating on him right now. <laughs> is it a church or is it like a is it a no, barn? No, no, we're not religious. You say you're not religious. What do you, what do you think happens when you die? What, what do you think happens? I like the, I like the kind of fuck. Like dabble with reincarnation a little bit. Dabble in reincarnation. That's not, what would you like to come back as? A married woman. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Oh my god. finger. <laughs> what is it about him that makes you think he's the one? He's hardworking. Hardworking. Um, yeah, yes. Does anything I, I need, I want. Does anything you want or need? <laughs> Except for get a ring. <laughs> I wish FanDuel had an option for this wedding. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so fun if you could grow? Why can't we bet on people's lives? That makes no sense to me. You had tickets since last December? That is so... That's so crazy, man. Some people have to wait that long to get married. <laughs> is that fucking insane? Legos in his bedroom. <laughs> Elaborate. He was 23. He was 23. And he had a Lego village in his bedroom. He had a Lego village in his bedroom. Okay, so you don't fuck with architecture. <laughs> was it? It was. It was like a town that he had built. Oh, yeah. All right. Sex aside, was it kind of impressive? <laughs> it was a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. See, <laughs> judging too much. Where'd you meet him? New York City, a lot of buildings. <laughs> Is that where you're from? Yeah. Nice. What are you doing out here? Uh, working. Working? Oh, what do you do? Uh, crypto. Crypto? <laughs> <laughs> you mad at this dude for building imaginary cities? You play with imaginary money. <laughs> Fucking hypocrisy, am I right? That's insane! That didn't cross your mind? I feel like this wasn't a problem until you did your walk of shame barefoot and you were like... <laughs> Where'd you meet him at, do you remember? Uh, house party? House party? A real house or a Lego house? <laughs> Why did it cross your mind as a red flag that he had Legos in his room? Was it just the fact that it come across as childish? Were they sharp? Were you afraid you were going to swallow something by accident? They were in his parents' house. They were in his parents' Oh, he still lived at home. Yeah, that's the red flag. It's not about... It's not about the Legos. Boy up front. What, 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 if you had to choose, what would you say is, is, your, is your biggest fear? Scare of the dark too. Scare of the dark too? Pussy, let's go. Let's go. That's us, man. You and I. Nightlight gang. Is this your lady? Girl, just girlfriend? And did you know he was afraid of the dark? It was a learning experience. It was a learning experience? <laughs> because I know how this experience went down. He stayed over at her house and kept the TV on, and she was like, how long are you going to watch this movie for? And he was like, till the sun comes up, bitch, you go to sleep, okay? 
Do you know what your girl's biggest fear is? No, I don't. You don't know? Oh, man. Do you want to fill him in? Fish? How do you think he feels? And that's why you can't eat pussy in the dark. Two fears coming together to make one. You guys are going to be okay. Next time she acts up, dog, take this bitch to an aquarium. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, remember there's plenty of fish in the sea, okay? <laughs> Both of you. It's cute, but also manageable, you know? You don't work near the dark, do you? You don't work a night shift or anything? Where do you work, my boy? Law enforcement. Law enforcement? So you really hate the dark. You can beat his ass if you want to now. And nobody will stop you. Not one person. It's our house tonight, alright? You can fuck him up, no consequences. <laughs> Sorry, you're just the only black dude within a hundred rows. So thank you very much, man. What was your name, bro? Sarge. Sarge, great to meet you. My Niagara. Appreciate you, Sarge. No gun. That's a walkie-talkie, all right? Chill the fuck out. Fish boy. Who's with you right here? My partner. Partner? Gay? Aww. Aww. Where'd you guys meet? On Tinder. On Tinder? For real? Yeah. Aww, man. Yeah, we have an eight-month-old. You have an eight-month-old? No way. Really? Where, uh, where'd you find it? <laughs> Adoption? Okay, just making sure it wasn't also tender. Like, I don't fucking know. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. An adoption tender, you just like, no, yes, no. <laughs> Call it something cute like chicken tender, you know? <laughs> something kid friendly. Eight month old boy, girl. Girl, you don't know that. Canceled. Eight-month-old girl. What's her name? Ariella. Ariella? That's the gayest name you could have chosen. White? Mixed. Mixed? You got a mixed baby. Yeah. Nice. So it could be either Ariel. Yeah. That's good. That's best-case scenario. <coughs> Gay as well? Nice. Two lesbian, two gay. Bro, y'all should fist fight. <laughs> that would be fucking crazy. How long have you guys been together? Five years. Five, Five years? years? Suck, Suck it. it. As, As if, if that wasn't on the agenda. agenda. <laughs> yeah, Suck. What are you choosing? Online, Online as, as well. well. Which, Which one? one? Plenty, Plenty of fish? fish? <laughs> Which one? What, what, what was it? Her. I haven't heard of this. Is it all lesbian dating app? Now, what's the format of that? Swipe left, swipe right. Swipe left, swipe right. Just get your fingers warmed up. <laughs> Got a fucking cowboy hat in here. What's up, dude? Looking good. Oh, put that back on immediately. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't realize I was talking to a thumb. My bad. It's a good look for you, bro. I'm so jealous. I could never wear a cowboy hat, dude. I would. I would look like Heath Ledger butt fucks me in a mountain, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I, look, I look like I have a 10 gallon asshole. <laughs> like I could never pull off some shit like that. You don't have the head for it. I don't have the head for it? Oh, all this hair as I was getting in the way? Sorry. Sorry. Do you, do, you, do, you have, do you have a cowboy job? I do. What do you do? I am an investor in ranching. You're an investor in ranching. <laughs> like the dressing? <laughs> or like farms and shit? Farms and shit. How do you invest in a ranch? Like you like what what are some qualifications? You gotta have the intelligence to invest in a ranch. <laughs> you just gotta sound like that. That's all you gotta do. 
So what are you looking to do? I tell you what. It's yours. It's yours. As much money as you want. <laughs> oh, man. The accent is so terrifying because, like, it's so endearing, but like, it feels like you could say the M word at any moment. I really could, dude. <laughs> You're terrifying, bro. You're getting us in trouble. Getting who in trouble? Us men. Manly men. <laughs> First of all, check your tone, Doug Diggadon. Okay? <laughs> this is right. I'm trying to speak up for us, all right? I'm trying to help us out right now. There's nine of us in here. We need to unite, okay? <laughs> you got know weed right there? Can I have it? We don't smoke in Texas. Are you from Texas? Oh, that makes so much more sense, man. I thought you managed a fucking Texas roadhouse nearby or something. But you personally don't smoke? Have you ever? I have. I was drunk. You were drunk when you did it? Are you drunk now? <laughs> Double or nothing. You want to hit? Come on, man. Come on. I'm going to toss it to you. Oh, <laughs> Why you treat me like I'm a cop right now? You be like, this is drugs I'm holding right now, and you want to watch me do it? Now make sure you're hitting the right end of it. Don't fucking don't suck on the USB cord. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey, stop! 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 Oh no! Oh no! No! I need you to sign a waiver immediately, dude. We just killed a guy, dude. That was way too much. I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. You know you're still standing, right? We actually didn't get your name. What was it? Okay. You be like, THC? If your middle name is Henry, I'll lose it right now. Are you okay? Careful. What's your middle name, TC? Terry Cunningham, TC. Terry Cunningham. Real quick, what's your social security number? Who gave this to you? A stranger. <laughs> Who's from Texas? It's who you think's from Texas, man. Sit down, Statue of Liberty. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm 65, she's 40. You're 65? That, <laughs> we, may, you can, we can't hear you if you sit down. You don't have to keep doing squats, man. The last time somebody was up here like this talking to him, he was in prison. He had to be like, Your Honor, I actually want to have to one. The other wife was 35. <laughs> I wonder, how, what's that? February the 7th, I turned 65, and she's 41. And 41? Where did you guys meet? A lot of zeros. A lot of zeros? I think he said he bought her, dude. Wow. Some Texas traditions never die. That's crazy. He said, I got a dating app, it's called Chase Bank, bitch. What you doing? What, man? I'm gonna say it. Hell. I'm hung like a mule. He said he's hung like a mule. You asked me why I'm 65, she's 41. Four questions ago I asked that. Why do you deserve this? Are you asking me why I think no. you deserve her? No. That's a deep You're question. Forty-one year old. No, I'm asking how you met. I didn't say dessert. It wasn't that deep at all. Hey, cause you don't. <laughs> oh my god. Man. What's up, man? Why are you standing like you doing magic right now?
<laughs> Who's that brought down my balls? All these bitches come. All these people fuck up. Hey, look how big this fucking drink is right here. You got, that looks like the shit you throw on a head coach after you win the Super Bowl, bro. You're, yours is a different thing. That's a mule. That's a mule? No, that's a mule. <laughs> He's cool, he's chilling, he's chilling, he's chilling. Chillin'. 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 So y'all met in Riel? I'm pretty sure, I've never been to Riel in the time, but like, I feel like y'all not supposed to fuck other people in Riel. I just feel like that's probably like rule number two. Don't do drugs and don't fuck the other people here. But I know, I know this is a very personal question, but can I, can I ask what you were in rehab for? Uh -huh. Um, I was a couple other things in alcohol. A couple other things in alcohol. And what about I'm fucking? I hate to tell you, it's not out of your system. I hate to tell you. It's a pretty lateral line from black tar heroin to black dick. It's pretty... Guys! What do you want me to say? They're a lo you're a lovely couple. I wish nothing but nice, good things for you guys at all times. Is that funny to you guys? Yeah, we're just having some fun. Jesus Christ, white people. It takes longer to get ready than you two. That's a good one. Stop fucking ugly dudes. I don't know what to tell you. It takes me 15 minutes. Like a shower, do my hair, do my fucking eighth grader shirt. Or, maybe you should take longer. <laughs> it's a joke. I can't even see her, guys. It's a joke. Wearing the same pajamas you are right now? Bro, these are my clown pants. What do you guys think? I think you have too many pockets for a man in his 30s. <laughs> That's what I think. Your pants look like if you walked on the street and do this. <laughs> 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 Your pants look like they keep rain out of the tent. <laughs> <laughs> My pants are made out of tent material? Yeah, man. Dude, you look like a bully. Like You just need a baseball mitt. <laughs> Yo, Matt has a baseball mitt, no baseball. He's just like, you guys want to play? <laughs> I look like I coach a youth baseball league, but like for the bitches. You know what I mean? <laughs> like just, just for like the single moms who are trying to kill time, you know? Yeah, you teach their son. You're like, yeah, Tommy's great. He has no arms, but how are you? <laughs> No arms and no dad, I see. Interesting. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, well, look who's starting pitching today. Hold on, you say girl best friend? <laughs> Have you met her? Yes. And you don't like this bitch? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, we're not together anymore, so yeah. Ooh. You guys broke up because of her? There were a lot of reasons. Okay, well then maybe don't put all the weight on her shoulders. Some of them some internal issues. Were they childhood best friends? Well, we were childhood best friends, but they didn't take breath in high school. So maybe she was just a better friend than you. Playing devil's advocate. I'm sorry. He's not here to defend himself. I don't know. What's up, fuckers? It is time, baby. Your boy is filming his second hour comedy special this December in Austin, Texas. Uh, December 9th and 10th at Vulcan Gas Company, one of my favorite clubs in the entire country. We're doing three tapings. Tickets are moving fast, so go ahead and get them at the link in my bio on my website, uh, mattrifeofficial.com. I'm excited, man. This is a wonderful city with wonderful audiences. You guys show up and show out every single time. You guys come, laugh your asses off. That's all I could ever ask for. And um, I owe you guys a thank you. This whole second special is only possible because of the support and the feedback that you guys gave for the first special OnlyFans that we put out last year that we did as a unit. So thank you guys so fucking much. I'm so excited for this second one. I think it's going to put the first one to shame. I think you guys are really going to like this new chapter of uh, my life and my material. And who knows? There's plenty of time as of right now. Netflix, uh, Amazon, Comedy Central, Showtime, HBO, any of those, they can pick it up. They can put it on their platform. They, ha they have the material, balls in their court. But if not, fuck them. We're going back to YouTube, baby, for free, 
for you guys. I want to make this again for you. So let's go. December 9th and 10th. Tell all your friends that live in that area. I'll see you guys there. You get a, you know, a bone necklace? <laughs> what is it? An alligator tooth? Did you get it yourself? No way. You want alligators? That's so cool. Dude. How long have you been doing that? 10 years? Seems like an odd midlife choice to just make, to just dive into. <laughs> how, how old are you? You 43? So at 33, you were like, something's missing. <laughs> the fear of death. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> the, uh, were you in the army before that? Oh, man. <laughs> Pussy. God. Oh, my God. What did you do in the army? You kill people? Ah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Can't do shit. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Being a comedian. <laughs> what do you do? You're a personal trainer. Have you ever used roids? <laughs> you have an app. You have an answer. Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys know this, but when a woman uses steroids for personal training, her uh, clit grows massively. So we might not be able to fuck, but. We could, I don't know, dock. <laughs> He'll rip that shit off and put it on a necklace. <laughs> Bro, that's so gross. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the dumbest thing I've ever said. That's so gross. How old are you? You have a grandson my age? Well, fucking set up a play date. Let's do this shit. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just curious. My grandpa about to be 68. So. You're 78? Oh my god, congratulations. You look fantastic. Are you kidding me? Are you still working? You retired? I am retired now. What did you used to do? Respiratory therapist. Respiratory therapist? Yeah. Nice. Okay, strong lungs. <laughs> How long can you hold your breath? <laughs> no, dude, this is why I would love, I would love. <laughs> Old, I bet older women give the best head because they can just put in the oxygen in their nose and they never have to breathe. <laughs> That's the most intrusive thought I've ever said out loud. <laughs> like, nobody should, adm should admit that that's like a thing they thought of. <laughs> it's like suck a dick with a snorkel. <laughs> that's, just, that's just strategy. What'd you say? Band guys from Ohio? Like band? Like they're in a band? Yeah, like, like lots of bands and I take it home. Metal bands. Oh, Ohio. metal band. Oh, you like metal music? Yeah. That's the red flag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't want to think any girl who likes to get fucked up. <laughs> Which ironically is how I come. <laughs> Now you seem like the type of girl who likes to get fingered in Hot Topic. This is uh... <laughs> Jack, Where are you from? From Africa? Oh, fuck! <laughs> 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 Call on the like, we don't need any more black people. We got the main one. <laughs> Straight from Africa? Holy shit! Here. No way. Are you serious? What's Jack's wife? <laughs> What's her 
Kimberly. Kimberly. Hey, yo, Kim. On the way over here. <laughs> We're gonna fight on the way back. <laughs> I say fight now so I don't have to work for the next 30 minutes. I say, uh, uh, y'all are clearly a couple. Who, who, who's the guy in her life that you hate? It's her best friend. How, how long has this guy been your best friend? A couple of years. Couple of years. Okay. Okay, that doesn't mean he hasn't been trying to fuck you for a couple years. <laughs> Where'd you meet this best friend? At work? Oh, that's worse. <laughs> oh, no. She has to see him every day. Okay, where do you work? At a school. You're not fucking these kids, are you? Are, are you a teacher? Oh, shit. Okay, all right, okay, okay. You what do you teach? Math. You teach math? All right, fuck you. Um, <laughs> what, is he a teacher as well? Uh, yes. What does he teach? Uh, science. Science? Would you say you two have chemistry? <laughs> no. No? Mm. No, we have chemistry right here. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Sounds like y'all are about to be history. Does anybody here have any autistic children? Do you really? Yeah. How old? Um, so he just turned four. He just turned four? Yeah. What's, um, how far on the spectrum would you say he is? Is it, is it little by little or is he like? He's nonverbal. He's nonverbal. Got, he got it. Yeah. <laughs> what's, his, what's his thing that he's really good at? Um, so he's hyperlexic. So hyperlexic, what's that? He's very, very good with numbers, shapes, colors. He's good with numbers, shapes, and colors. And colors. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that dude about to rob a casino something. <laughs> You're going to be a very rich mom someday. There's no cons, bro. You don't got to worry about him talking to strangers. You don't like talking to nobody. That's awesome. Congratulations. What is that? Some fan art. You made that? Are you kidding me? You drew this? That's so cool. She drew this. Aww. This is so good. And you're verbal. Guys, this is really good, okay? <laughs> Fucking be nice, okay? This is, this is going top of the fridge. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I look like that? <laughs> Black dudes are the funniest people on the planet. That's a black dude for sure. I know a black dude's laugh. That's all I did all of February. I just fell asleep to black dudes laughing, man. Like, that was my ASMR. That brings me such joy. What's your name, bro? Uh, Tory, man. Who you here with? Never been more sure somebody's with a side chick in my life. <laughs> Black dudes answer you without even answering. They really do. Who you here with? Ah. <laughs> What's that? I said we good. Ain't nobody's cameras out. You all right, man? You okay? <laughs> but don't start no shit, man. Cause I'll fucking boom. Got your ass. Boom. Got you on camera, Tori. Suspicious. Oh, man. I hope I get a side chick someday. Just go do all the things I'm not supposed to in public and shit. One more time? No side, just the main. That's your main girl? Yeah, you felt the need to reiterate that? You felt the need. 
You like just to make sure. What's that? You almost got me in some shit. <laughs> you almost got you in some shit, man. Okay, this is your one and only girlfriend. No. Don't do that. Don't sit down. All right, sit down. Stop making this woman think fuck the Tory fucked you. Okay, do not do that. Don't say that. No, you don't. You don't know who's sitting back there. Who's the girl you know? I know Brittany. You know Brittany? with Britney forever ago. Right? Next subject. Next subject. <laughs> what, you don't like talking about black history? <laughs> Chapter one, Britney. You said everybody knows Britney? Britney sounds like a hoe now. Everybody knows her? Hey, Tori, don't say that. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Matt Ross! And I've been waiting for this moment, boy. There is so much to unpack. Damn. Oh, this is going to get cancelable. Let's do it. Y'all broke up? Oh, my God. I, I don't like sleeping with a bunch of different people anyways, because I don't like inconsistent feedback. What on the... Oh. This is the bigger red flag now. But that was an unnecessary detail, would you say? You've been fingered in a dorm for sure. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. If you didn't laugh at that shit, I would never be your friend. Fuck you, dude. Are you stupid? Yeah! Y'all in no position to judge my family, okay? Don't test me, dog. It's just an energy you want to be around. The way I lock your phone, I don't give a fuck. I'm about to hurt your feelings. I've been waiting for this exact opportunity, He said bro. he doesn't trust me? <laughs> That's crazy. Yes. Let's go. Oh, that could not have went better. That could not have went better. Oh my God. College baseball? Oh man, you've been fingered in a dorm for sure. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Right, so who went pro and didn't take you with them? Who was it? <laughs> All right, what, what is it that you don't like about college baseball players? Oh, my gosh. Uh, the ego. The ego. The ego of playing a, a collegiate sport at a high level? <laughs> he can't be proud about that? <laughs> the seventh pitcher on the team? I love how you're clowning them for that, but Loki, you fucked the seventh pitcher <laughs> on the team. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your pussy is the bullpen. Do you know that? <laughs> Strike one. <laughs> so it's just an ego thing? That's the only thing you don't like about it? Oh. He... he you never fucked him? Damn, you couldn't even fuck the seventh pitcher on the baseball team? Damn. Strike two. Where did you go to school? You didn't go to school? You didn't go to college? Strike three, bitch. Yeah! yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's a good question. What t what tech company is it? This went from an interview to a job fair so fast. What did you get laid off for? They give you a reason? Dude, Google laid everyone off. Oh, you worked at Google? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Fuck, they laid every why'd they lay everyone off? Because we're black, bro. <laughs> Google. That'll last seven seconds until until someone at home has to Google why we're boycotting Google. 
<laughs> like, fuck, I just did the thing. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> do you want to keep working at a tech company or you want to go do something else? You know what's funny? I was like, fuck Google. They called me back today. And then I have an interview Monday. And I was like, hey, how are you? <laughs> you were so ready to go back. <laughs> I like, I'm niggers too. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I want to be very clear, the microphone wasn't even near my face when that was said. And this is why we don't pull our phones out and record during the show. So what, are you going to go back? Uh, I don't know. If they, if they, I don't want to drive the mountain with you, but if they want me to, I will. How far does that drive? <laughs> two hours, two and a half hours. But if they want me, I'll tell them I only want to come in one day a week. Yeah, your demands. <laughs> tell, them to, tell them to fucking throw in 40 acres while they at I know they got it. I got Google Maps. <laughs> full name? White. What's your what's your what's your what's your full name? Leonard Charles Williams. <laughs> Leonard Charles William. That's how you got hired at Google. <laughs> and, then, and then you showed up after a two-hour drive, and they were like, ah, yeah. Uh, Yahoo. Use that to your advantage, bro. You earn that. You know, you know what I would like to actually give you right now? This is so crazy. And I, I ne this is something I never thought I would do. I wanted to hold on to it forever because I, it was the funniest fucking thing in the world. I was in Huntsville, Alabama like two weeks ago, right? And I was talking to this, like the most white trash dude you've ever seen, right? And the topic came up of like white privilege. And he was like, oh, I got a card for that. And I was like, ah, it's very funny, obviously. Like you, you use the white privilege card, like, you know, like the, the term or whatever. And he was like, no, for real. I was like, what are you talking about? And he gave me this thing. <laughs> Yeah, I keep it in my wallet, dude. In case I get pulled over. You think? It's a white privilege card, bro. He gave it. Do you want it? Come get this shit, bro. Come here. Come get it. There you go, bro. You, will you read it to the people on, on the back, what it says? All right, on the back it says... You loud enough, bro. I really to you, loud. <laughs> you got a projective voice, my man. This card grants us bearer happiness, success. What the fuck? <laughs> Because it's the color of your skin and not the choices that make you, the choices that you make to determine the abilities to be the su successful. Okay. Now you're not getting that job back. I'm telling you that right now. Leonard. That's all you. But that you can definitely have it, man. Absolutely. My blessings. Be safe. Yeah, check your credit score. It just jumped. <laughs> you're welcome. Slater, what's the dream, man? What's the first thing you're gonna do with white privilege? Wait, hold on. What? I'm married to a white man. Are you really? Yeah. You're gay too? <laughs> I have another card for you. Hold on a second. <laughs> you black and gay? Bro, give me my fucking card back, dog. You are untouchable right now. You can say whatever you want. God. Some people have all the white privilege, man. That's crazy. So much just happened. Black and gay, married to a white man, now has a white privilege. Bro, you're Thanos right now. You have collected all the infinity stones. And you're just gonna snap your fingers and half the white women in this room are gonna disappear. That's crazy. You're bi? Why not? You know? What you watching over there, bro? Yeah, you said somebody's breaking into your car? Where are they? Bro, I'll go beat their ass right now. I swear to God. You get like a, a notification on your phone? Yeah, you said something. What's that? Something set my alarm. Something set the alarm? Are you parked outside? Yeah, you want to go check? <laughs> do, oh, do you have the Century uh, cameras? Can you turn them on? That's what he was watching. Is somebody out there? What's it looking like? <laughs> Can you imagine we roll out there with 300 people? And just like, hey, hey, pop the frunk. <laughs> uh, what, what model Tesla you have? You have the Y? You like? I have the three. You like it? 
Sometimes I get reminded how well my life is actually going. Because like two months ago, I was, I was in LA, and I was driving on the freeway, and I, I was in the driver's seat, and, and Alex, who was up here before me, was in the passenger seat. He's like, how you feel, man? I was like, I don't know, man. Things just, sometimes things just don't really, really be going the way that you hope they're going. And you know, like, what if, what if this kind of spike in my career, just kind of like a flash in the pan, you can't make it last or whatever. And he was like, you realize you haven't touched the steering wheel the whole time? <laughs> I was like, I guess it's going all right. I guess it'll be all right. Yeah. Just getting driven around. <laughs> and then he topped me off, dude. It was fire. <laughs> no hands, you know? You a cop? Really? Yeah, the mustache. That makes sense. So you were actually totally okay with the amount of black people that were here. <laughs> Like somebody's breaking into my car. He was like, How's it feel? <laughs> ah, shots fired. How's it feel? <laughs> if you guys had to guess a crime I'd get arrested for, what, what would it be? <laughs> What'd you say? Did somebody say soliciting? <laughs> who, who said that? That's prostitution? Come on, get rid of that law, man. Come on. But what's funny is you can do it for free. You just can't be like, here's gas money. Like, that's... Asking for escorts, paying for escorts. Did you sound hurt recently? What happened? <laughs> somebody just checked their bank statement like a week ago. Alright, let's dive into this divorce. What happened? I found out three days ago my husband of six years, we have two beautiful boys, is paying for escorts. How much? How did you find out? I saw the text message under the new update on iPhone under edit and delete it. Hold on, you can check those? <laughs> what was it? 300 per hour. 300 per hour? Do they do by the minute? <laughs> I got 20, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I got five. Um, did you see the pictures? There's no pictures and he won't admit it. He's saying it's a scam. <laughs> it's a scam? That means he didn't come. <laughs> It's just a rip off. I could have stayed married if I wanted to not come. There's some married people in here. Good fucking feeling. I am really sorry. That is, that's genuinely fucked up. Are you guys done? Or are, are you gonna stick with them? You're like, just don't fucking do this shit again. I already packed up all my shit and moved out. Fuck that dude. You strong woman, you go out there, you live your own life, you have the most fun, you have the And I'll tell you, I'll, I'll fuck you for 150, to be honest. Do I hear, do I hear 200? Do I hear 200? <laughs> what does it show up as? Like, what's like the receipt look like? He <laughs> didn't call the words, he asked, what are your roses? And I googled that and found the website and the code roses means how much we're doing. Bitch, what if he was buying you flowers? $300 worth of flowers. He might love you. No. Did he even try that excuse? No. Ah, that would have been my go-to. Do it for an hour, they, they pick them themselves. It's for, it's, for an hour, it's worth of work. You get as many roses as they can pick them in an hour. That's like a solid deal. Nobody fucking steal that. Your best friend used it? I am sketch. I love you though, I drove three hours to come see you. <laughs> you drove three hours to see me? Oh my god, it's just $900. That's $900. Oh my god. 
feel about the alien information that came out okay this is a good one does anybody actually give a shit when they saw it how can you not no, I know, I know, I know. Bruh, they confirmed aliens are real the fact that you guys are even still at a comedy show right now is insane why you all aren't building bunkers right now doesn't make sense I'm on your side. what yeah because hey duh the, the analogy i actually heard was the concept that Think about why we don't talk to ants, right? Like they're so underdeveloped yeah. as creatures. It's like, you know, you can't really have a, you can't really communicate with them. I don't think aliens think we're even ready to meet them. No. And we're not. Imagine aliens come down and are like, men and women of Earth, and somebody's like, some of us are neither. Well, if that's not even a real thing, first and foremost. Um, I'm starting my master's right now. What are you getting your master's in? Criminal justice. Criminal justice. What do you want to do with that? Um, at the end of the day, like FBI, CIA, but you don't start there, so. FBI, CIA, for real? Are you going to find the clip? I think it's a missing person. He was last seen in a canoe. Where do you know this guy from? Are, now, are you two better friends than you and then, than her ex and you are at this point? Correct. We ditched him. Oh, you get both of you guys aren't friends with that guy. crazy. I mean, like, mama's boy, hypocritical Catholic, and a mascot. A mascot? A mascot. What was the mascot? The Mavericks, the bull. And he loved that so much that he graduated, became the mascot for the Omaha Beef. He's like a football team here. The Omaha Beef? <laughs> There's no way there's a team called the Omaha. Indoor football team. Indoor football, like lingerie? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Oh, man. And then he also became the mascot for the, uh, the Union Omaha soccer team. I'm sorry, I can't get over Omaha beef. I really... <laughs> an indoor football team? <laughs> I hope, there's, I hope you guys have an indoor lingerie league that's called the Omaha Beef Curtains. <laughs> You work with him? Are you the beef curtains mascot? <laughs> he moved to Texas now? He just took a professional mascot job. He took a professional mascot job? <laughs> Where? It's, he wouldn't say, but it's like minor league something. Minor leagues? I didn't know there were like minor league mascot um, like hierarchies. I didn't know you could like work your way up to be in the pros. I thought like pro mascots was like rock bottom for people. <laughs> well, what's usually your type besides mascots? Uh, I slept with a pilot. You slept with a pilot? Yeah. By like Spirit Airlines? Or like, or like Navy Jet pilot? pilot. Like Air Force. Air Force? Yeah, I feel like he was a Southwest pilot wearing Air Force Ones. <laughs> Where'd you meet him? Um, we worked at the dining hall together at college. Oh, yeah, he worked at the college as well. And he went on to become a pilot in the Air Force? Well, that's kind of cool. He's, like, in the process. He's still got to graduate. He's not even a pilot? So you haven't <laughs> fucked a pilot. <laughs> you fuck with a guy who likes planes. <laughs> you may have fucked an autistic guy. You said it like he crashed. <laughs> what airline? American. It's my airline. <laughs> How long did you date him for? Um, a year. You gave it a chance. <laughs> and why didn't it work out? He fun. Would you say he's plain? So stupid. That was so stupid. Does your shirt say I eat ass? <laughs> what, what's your ethnicity? Filipino. Who are you here with, man? 
Yo, lady. Hi. Does she, um... <laughs> Hilarious! He goes... Oh. <laughs> but the look on his face was like, I've asked. Where'd y'all meet? At work? It's wildly inappropriate. Where do you work? A forklift company. Nice. And now she's the one carrying loads. Isn't that crazy? Good for you. And you bring his lunch to work every day. Isn't that so cute? Oh, at a construction site? Good. If she acts up, you can bury this bitch under some concrete. He just leaves the ass uncovered, and he's like, ah. You not afraid of ghosts and monsters? <laughs> what are you afraid of? Taco Bell? <laughs> you know those toilet seat covers that you use in the public bathroom? I imagine he just puts it on as a bill. <laughs> she comes home and just flap down. Y'all giving energy like he didn't wear a shirt that said it on it. Some of y'all are giving the energy like you asking too many questions. I was given way too much information, dude. Of course I've got questions. Let's reverse it. Do you know what her biggest fear is? Losing her kids. Losing her kids. Like at a Walmart or Permanently. Okay, got it. No, that's valid. You have kids? You're a grandma? That's crazy. Oh, oh, man. That's crazy. It just so happens one of my favorite meals is Filipino leftovers. That's crazy. Oh. The kids is a, is a big one. Do they, do they live nearby? You get to see them pretty often? They live with you? That's an issue. <laughs> By the time they have kids, they gotta get their shit together. Tell them to get out of the house. You don't mind them living with you? You do and you don't. I am putting on her spot. These are the kind of questions she should be asking herself. <laughs> Maybe you can ponder next time you get in your ass, eh? You can just kind of... <laughs> You have any other tattoos? Uh, I got a few. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite one? Uh, probably. Take your time. <laughs> you know the Spotify one. Spotify. Yeah, you got your phone on you. Bring out the phone. You got Spotify. <laughs> is it a QR code? It is. What? <laughs> no way. Okay, so well, let's see if you scan it over it. Oh, it's over a sound wave. Oh, here we go. Wow. That is fucking awesome. That that is one of the better tattoos I've ever seen. Man, the only thing that could be better than that is, bro, if you had a swastika on the other arm. Because here's the thing, we all love him, but we'd be so conflicted, wouldn't we? If he was a Nazi this whole time, <gasps> you don't have any hair. I'm not making a ball joke, I'm making a Nazi joke. <laughs> What a dilemma we would have. Man, if he hated black people but loved NSYNC, you guys wouldn't know what to do. Are you, are you single? Uh, about to be. About to be? You getting divorced? Getting divorced. Nice, man. Does she like the tattoo? No. She doesn't like it? I hope this bitch dies. I, would I hope you get the house. I hope you get the dog. I hope you get, do you have kids? Stepkids, they're not mine. Stepkids? I hope she has to keep those kids. <laughs> Man. This is just your, your boy, Blake? Yep. What's your name, dog? Joshua. 
Joshua, pleasure to meet you. You got some ink too, man. What's your favorite one? Uh, song or tattoo? No, no, I'm sorry. Favorite tattoo? Uh, Thundercats. Your what? Thundercats. You got Thundercats on your leg? Yes. That is awesome and super lame at the same time. <laughs> you got it right down the middle too. Because that was supposed to be Transformers. You were going to get Transformers on the other side? Man. I feel like me talking about pussy earlier is as close as you've gotten, man. <laughs> Dude. Thundercats and Transformer? <laughs> Bro, how much money, like, real talk, All right. how much money to get you to tattoo the sound bite <laughs> of this bitch's laugh? Talk to me for real. Like, I'm in sales. I don't know what's on the table here. Like, what are we offering? You, all right, you're in sales. You're wondering what I'm offering you? <laughs> I'll show your friend what titties look like. <laughs> How much money to kill her? How much? <laughs> Talk to me for real, okay? Hear me out. Two titties. You get a half hour in the back room, we'll talk. Half hour? You think you're gonna last half an hour? Man, that'd be rude as fuck. You buy, you buy your friend a prostitute, but he, for the hour, and like two minutes in, he comes out and is like, all right. So fucking mad. Like, you know, you get in there and you learn that young woman's life. <laughs> you ever seen Thundercats? <laughs> yeah, no, it was gonna be Transformers. <laughs> What's that one? You made this one? I did. Now, wait, hold on, hold on a second. Now, I don't know where his mouth has been. <laughs> I know where it hasn't been. Mom, how, how old are you? 67. Hold on, Mom, what's, what's your name, Mom? Sue. Sue? Sue? Who told you about OnlyFans? The daughter? What's your link? You sell feet pics? Do, do you actually sell feet pics? What? Oh, for the money. I said, oh, okay. I thought, I thought you meant like a collab, but I was like, that's, that's not cool, but probably profitable. Your grandkids love me? Oh, how, how old are the grandkids? 14 and 17. That's terrible parenting. That's, they should not know who I am at all. Man, why would you lie to them? That is, that's what they're gonna get their hopes. Of. Where's where are their where are their dads? Or dad? It could it could be single. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even I didn't even mean it like that. You fucking assholes. It was accidental. You guys made her a whore, not me. <laughs> so he's at home with the kids right now. I like that. I like a, a good mom's night out. That's so cute. I didn't ask. I didn't ask though. Sixty-seven. Is anybody older than sixty-seven? On Earth? No one's good. Anybody? If you if you had any advice to give to to everybody in here with good knees. <laughs> that was that sucked, so That sucked a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you know what? How would you feel if I put that on your tombstone? How would you feel? You'd be like, you'd be like, not a lot of work put into that. I was looking for some life-altering advice. It's past your bedtime. Yeah, it's almost time for you to wake up. <laughs> no, it's 11:30. It is almost time for you to go to bed. Forever.
Has, has anybody here ever, ever seen a ghost? Have you really? Yeah. What, what did you experience? Uh, I went to a haunted house where I grew up in Pleasant Hill, Missouri, which is very haunted. Now when you say a haunted house, you make a Halloween one or like a legitimate haunted house? No, like a house that was like owned by the Ku Klux Klan at one point. Oh, oh, oh. oh those weren't ghosts. <laughs> actually much scarier and uh, they don't like shadow people either so i was going up to the house and there looked like there was an old man in the window i bet there was <laughs> i turned around to tell my friends about it and i turned around and he was like gone and so i thought it was a ghost it, i just felt a very haunted feeling uh, you all thinking I'm crazy or something, but I didn't feel haunted. Okay? No, they think you're racist. They don't think you're, they don't think you're crazy. No, 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 no. You're, you're just fine. It's okay. Totally different thing. Different, different thing to be ashamed of. It's all right. So did you get a chance to go inside the house? No, I ran from that house. You're probably not the first person. <laughs> So I'm, I'm glad that you are a believer and, and back me up. The ghosts are fucking scary. <laughs> Monsters are scary too. I don't. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to negate. That's not a real one. <laughs> Some monsters are fucking real. You. you went to their house. <laughs> People are monsters. <laughs> Drive him in a fucking tank? Like what? What branch? Army. Army. Yeah, let's boo the people protecting us. Let's do that. Uh, woke up, had a, uh, a couple meetings, and then uh, and I joined the army. Consensual sex with somebody. So that was a pretty productive day. Uh, well, sorry to hear about your car. <laughs> Watching over there, bro. Yeah, you said somebody's breaking into your car? Where are they at? Bro, I'll go beat their ass right now. I swear to God. You get like a, a notification on your phone? Yeah, it's Tesla. Where's the Tesla? What's that? Something set my alarm. Something set the alarm? Are you parked outside? Yeah, you want to go check? <laughs> do, oh, do you have the Century uh, cameras? Can you turn them on? Yeah, yeah they are. That's what he was watching. Uh, is somebody I'm out there? To see if the, 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 they was in my car. Where? What's it looking like? <laughs> Can you imagine we roll out there with 300 people? And it's like, hey! Hey! Pop the frunk! <laughs> uh, what, what model Tesla you have? You have a Watt? You like? I have a 3. You like it? Sometimes I get reminded how well my life is actually going. Because like two months ago, I was, I was in LA, and I was driving on the freeway, and I, I was in the driver's seat, and, and Alex, who was up here before me, was in the passenger seat. He's like, how you feel, man? I was like, I don't know, man. Things just, sometimes things just don't really, really be going the way that you hope they're going. And you know, like, what if, what if this kind of spike in my career is just kind of like a flash in the pan, you can't make it last or whatever? And he was like, you realize you haven't touched the steering wheel the whole time? <laughs> I was like, I guess it's going all right. I guess it'll be all right. Yeah, just getting driven around. <laughs> and then he topped me off, dude. It was fire. <laughs> no hands, you know. You a cop? Really? Yeah, the mustache. That makes sense. So you were actually totally okay with the amount of black people that were here. <laughs> he was like, somebody's breaking into my car. He was like, how's it feel? Shots fired. How's it feel? <laughs> if you guys had to guess a crime I'd get arrested for, what, what would it be? <laughs> what did you say? Freaking. Did somebody say soliciting? <laughs> who, who said that? That's prostitution? Come on, get rid of that law, man. 
<laughs> Come on. But what's funny is you can do it for free. You just can't be like, here's gas money. Like, that's... Your shirt say, build a bear my ass? <laughs> and there's another piece of paper underneath it that says, squeaky titties ain't got nothing. <laughs> Is there more? God damn, bitch, tweet me this. This is so much. Ain't got nothing on a purring pussy. Can you? Bitch, this is an essay. You guys can't see it. She's tearing away one paper at a time. Oh, you can see it. Oh, fantastic. Autograph my vagina. <laughs> Now that was fucking funny. Her shirt says, the layer of jokes. Oh my God. What is your name? Dee Dee? Like double D? Wow, wow, wow. How old are you, Dee Dee? You're 60? Get the fuck out of here. That's why the font was so big, huh? She, she couldn't read her own shit. One of them said, autograph my pussy with your dick. You're 60, DD. Who else's name is on there? Fucking Hannes Wagner? Only the dudes get that as a baseball reference. He's very old, very old baseball player. How do you autograph a 60 year old's pussy? With like a feather and ink? What's that? What'd you say? What the fuck? <laughs> calm that down, calm that down. Do you have a kitty noisemaker in your outfit? Where is it? It's in your city? Shut up. So you play, you're played into this. Even 60 year old pussy needs help making noise. That's impressive. I, I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio. I don't know if anybody's ever made that mistake. I said, Ohio, you from Ohio? It just sounds funny. It just sounds funny? Wait for the rest of the show. You're going to lose your fucking mind. Oh my God. Didn't know geography got you off like that. My bad. Check this out Tallahassee. More syllables, you what? <laughs> Where are you from? Mexico City. Mexico City? Nice. Yeah. You live here now or are you just yeah. hiding? Or... <laughs> fucking awesome. No, that's so cool. I fucking love Mexico, man. I get all my coke from there. You guys do a really good job. Fantastic. What uh how long how long have you been here? Yeah, I don't know, now you don't speak English all the Suspicioso. That's, that, there's no way that's a word. <laughs> and canceled. Great. We're starting to show off. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you. No. No, I looked over. I was like, there's an empty chair there. I was like, where'd she go? You were taking a shit. It's fine. It's fine. No one's gonna have a job. Oh, I'm embarrassing you. In front of everybody. Okay, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday Adam, you just got it. Oh, you're sweet. I'm just fucking with you. I love you. I love you too. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I was just making sure in the bathroom that I look good for you, though. That's it. You were just making sure in the bathroom that you look good for me? Yeah. Do a double take. <laughs> This is fun. Oh shit. Yes. <laughs> Can't
can I tell you you look pretty just to make you feel better? First of all, you never need a man to tell you you look beautiful. So no. No, you, you look great. You look great. You. Yes, I mean it. We're, just, we're gonna meet out in the back. <laughs> no. no. I love you too. You're very sweet. Yeah. Yes. I love watching you. Oh man, I wish you would love listening to me. You look so good. One of us has to. I'm kidding. You guys can't skip my side of the refuge. She is very beautiful. Is she your birthday? That explains it. How old are you turning? 21. That explains it. Would you like the rest, man? Come here. good at texting back. Um, do you feel like you're a solid texter? Yeah. You feel like you have good banter? Is this, is this a guy you're seeing right now? Yeah, yeah, my friend actually just texted a guy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that shut up. <laughs> oh, so your friend is going through this right now. You're just airing out her laundry. Okay. She asked him if he wants to have drinks tonight, and he didn't respond. Okay, he might not be interested. He's a comedian. He's a comedian? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm busy. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. I'm at work, babe. <laughs> There was one I came across a couple of weeks ago, not literally. Um, poor, poor choice of words. You know, I'm, I'm scrolling, scrolling, looking for a new one. And, like, you know, you've been like seeing it, seeing it. And like, I, find, I finally fucking find one, like I don't, I don't recognize the fucking thumbnail for it. So I'm like, all right, click on it. And let me just start this with like, I don't know how to cook at all. Not a fucking clue. Wouldn't even attempt it. Like, I know nothing about cooking. So the video starts off, is this dude, he's got like the camera, like very, like POV angle, right? Let's not be fucking children, you know what that means. It's his point of view the entire time. And the video starts out with his POV of him cooking eggs, right? And I can't cook eggs, have never tried to cook eggs, but like, this wasn't it, you know what I mean? Like, he's fucking these eggs up for like five to six minutes. And I'm just like, fuck, how, like, how long is he gonna go? So for like five to six minutes, he's fucking these eggs up. And then like his stepdaughter like comes around the corner of the kitchen and is like, Ron, I really need my permission slip signed to go on this field trip. So he's just like, fucking, how bad do you want to go to the zoo? So... <laughs> So she just starts sucking his dick because how else do you get to the zoo? And so for the next 15 to 20 minutes, it's just him panning back and forth between her sucking his dick and him fucking up these eggs. He cooked them the whole time. I had to watch to be like, is it an omelet? Like how far is he gonna fucking go? Getting it with resize. You thought she had fat fingers? <laughs> he was like, yeah, they hurt my asshole. I was like, that, it feels like a nine. It feels like a nine and a half. I don't know what y'all are doing. Oh man. I'm gonna go on a little digit play with your partner. What a heated jacket? What kind of pimp shit is that? I'm making you laugh so much that you're sweating. Nah. 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 
I will say getting complimented by a black dude is way better than ever busting a nut. I will say that. It's, it's just, it, you have to work harder for it. Just girlfriend. Gotcha. How long? How, when did y'all meet? 15 years ago. <laughs> Hey, man, I'd roast you, but your jacket already cooking you, so. <laughs> What's your name, man? Will. Will, great to meet you, Will. You're cool as hell, man. What you, what you do, Will? <laughs> Say less. <laughs> ah! We got him. We got him. Oh, you gotta go to the bathroom? Go ahead, man. We'll wait. Can I see his jacket? Can I wear it? I just wanna be wearing it when he comes back. Thank you. Thank you. Shit, heavy as fuck. This is the heaviest jacket. Shit is hot. Bro, this jacket just does something to you, man. I've had this jacket on for 10 seconds and my hand is just like. What's up, William? How many polar bears you kill? I feel like this is how pilots dress on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> it's so hard to not go through your pockets, but she asked me. She asked me nicely not to, so I won't. Yeah. I'm trying to feel. Let's see. I know the shape, but like, I don't know what. I don't know what it could be. Oh, I thought it was, but I didn't recognize the end of it. It's drugs. It's drugs. This little, this little paraphernalia. And in this pocket, cigarettes. Um, your phone. That's stupid as hell. That's stupid as hell. Man. Oh my god. I mean, you have to forgive me. I haven't held an, an iPhone seven in so long. This is a 12? This is the smallest 12 I've ever felt. It's a mini? When they make mini 12s? You got a... Is this a pre-roll tube? It's in the opposite... It's in this one. Drugs. I knew it. <laughs> this is the most ghetto magic show ever. <laughs> Man, you guys should have seen when he disappeared in front of his kids. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> well, you're a great dude, man. I really fuck with you heavily. I'm gonna take this off before I'm an accomplice. <laughs> yeah, I smell like Newports. <laughs> <laughs> Were they new posts for real? No! Didn't even look at them. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all shit on stereotypes until they're real funny, huh? Yeah. Fuck y'all, man. I wish I was gay for the fitness of the fashion alone. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I'm straight, but I'd love to be in gay shape. You know what I mean? You ever meet a gay dude? They're in great shape every fucking time, man. It's so impressive. Gay dudes stay in the gym. That's the guy's name, Jim. They just stay in there. They just turn it out, burning in calories, dog. It's dedication. You better respect it. That's next level fitness, bro. That's that level of in shape that, like, you could fight off another grown man if you wanted to, you know? That's, that's up to you. You, know, you put in the work top or bottom. That's you, dog. That's your prerogative. God, and if they're not fucking... They're not fucking shredded. They fuck dress impeccably. You guys look fantastic. Oh my god. I don't 
I don't know if you guys know this, but gay men have a stranglehold on the fashion game. They are killing shit, bro. Nobody in this world dresses better than gay men. You better respect it. It's pretty impressive. I mean, you spend enough time in the closet, you're bound to find something. You know who does? Boots. Love it. What's that? It's for you. It's a Build-A-Bear. That's for me? What is it? It's a Build-A-Bear. You got me a Build-A-Bear? Yeah. Why? It's a voice message too in it. It has a voice message? Yeah, from your show where you said if someone got you a Build-A-Bear. Oh my god. So I did, I did a TikTok one time where the girl in the audience was saying it was a red flag that a guy brought her a Build-A-Bear on a first date. And I had said in the video, I was like, I would love if somebody brought me a Build-A-Bear. So you brought me one? Yeah. I gotta do more jokes about getting my dick sucked. <laughs> I doing with all this cute shit? Oh God! Thanks, I guess. This is so sweet. Thank you. Oh, your numbers are on here. It might still happen. It might still happen. Okay. We can use them for cleanup. Can I take them out of here? Yeah. This is so cute. Aww. You didn't really, you didn't spring to get him any clothes? That's kind of the whole, you didn't really build the bear. You just kind of, you kind of just, psst, looks like you stole one, kind of. There's a voice my one? Yeah, you press his paw. Press his paw? What if I press it and it's just like, I want you to fuck both of us. It might be the other one. <laughs> That sucks, I can't lie. That's, um, that's uh, it's not incredibly audible, but it's a thought that counts. Thank you so much. This is, this is one of the, the sweetest, laziest gifts I've ever had. Thank you. Oh, back in there you go. There we go. Strong as shit, man. You look like the black dude whose dick was out on the end of the bed during COVID. Remember you would send a link to like, COVID's been cured. And you click the link and it's that motherfucker just. It would be like vital information too. Like, your grandma's been hospitalized. What? Click. The government's giving everybody $15,000. For real? Ah, ah. Stupid. You thought. I never had so much dick in my phone than over COVID, man. So congratulations on success, man. You really held the country together. I hope you know that. What's your name, man? Jack. Jack, great to meet you, man. Where you from? North Carolina. You from North Carolina? Raleigh area? No. No? Where from? The country. If the... I told you, driving my house, you ride by. Damn. When I grew up, when I grew up to catch the bus, it's cows. Shut up. You had to walk by cows to catch the bus? There was a slaughterhouse on the corner. There was a slaughterhouse on the corner? Are you from the country, country? You didn't do your whole life? Uh, nah, I went to the army. You went to the army? That's why you're so fucking strong, man. I thought you, I thought you were just moving cows your whole life. I didn't know. It was a slaughterhouse, but it was really just a wrestling mat. And the cow goes inside, and this motherfucker just... <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> then he would milk its body and mix it with creatine. And just, and just drink a, a fucking victory protein shake. Oh, man. What would you do for the army? Uh, generator mechanic. Generator mechanic. Right, do you, you see any battle? Twice. Fuck, where at? Iraq and Iraq and Afghanistan. Thank you for your service, man. For real. Round of applause for that. Uh, that's long enough. He was just keeping the lights on. All right, everybody fucking chill out. Just, bah, bah, bah. They're on. Okay, got it. But still respect. Still respect. Girlfriend, wife. 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 Nice to meet you. What's your name? DJ. What do you do, DJ? I'm gonna stay at home, mom. I have twin uh, freshmen and a six-year-old. Twin freshmen in high school, so about fourteen, yes. roughly. Oh my God. How long have you guys been married for? Eight years. Oh, you have 14-year-olds. 
Damn, how long were you in the military, bro? <laughs> I waited for you. Who are these motherfuckers? <laughs> I seem frustrated. We thought maybe a gift would help. I seem frustrated. A gift maybe help? Maybe after the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you so much. What is this? Well, don't clap. It could be a bomb. We don't know. We don't know yet. I came to Iowa and I guess like, yeah. That's because I <laughs> <laughs> That's because the build the bear <laughs> Listen guys, I've never ended a show early before, but I I'm sure you would all understand if I had to wrap things up, right? There's hold on, there's one more thing in here. Cookies! Are you kidding me? <laughs> the blowjob's gonna have a hard time beating this. this is fantastic. It's like the perfect consistency, too. Oh my god. Thank you so much. What's your name? Christina, you are so hot. Thank you so much. Oh my god. You're a grandma? Let's put that shower chair to use. There's already plastic on the furniture. Let's make a mess, you know? How old are you? Say it. Say it. This is dirty talk to me. Come on, let's, let's get it. Let's say a number. 40, 45? Are you serious? Are you, fr are you from here? Really? We gotta get you out of here. Immediately. Yeah, get you the fuck out of here. Minneapolis, at least. Let's just get you, out. Let's just get you down the road. You're not married or anything? You bunch of fucking idiots. Oh my god, you local morons not marrying this beautiful woman who makes great cookies. Stupid. I'm so sorry. What? Are you divorced? How long were you married for? 16 years. 16 years? Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Four. Oh, what? That's enough, though, right? You have your tubes tied? You do? I'ma fucking move in the morning. Yeah. Uh. Those are your sisters? You have three sisters? Uh, I'm the oldest out of nine. Nine? <laughs> Would you like to have such a hot older sister? Does she know she's hot? Does she know that? No. no. She doesn't? No. Good. <laughs> Keep her humble. You're nothing, Christina. <laughs> You're gonna be stuck here in Iowa forever unless, unless, well, well that's gaslighting. <laughs> What's that? What was it? What did you want to show me? Was it a bank statement? What was it? Your daughter? This is your daughter? Show us. Are you serious? No, nobody else can see her, actually. This is, I don't want Iowa to know she's out here. This is, this is your daughter? How old is she? This is the 21 year old? <sighs> this is a very tough decision to make, you guys. I don't know if you've ever been put in this position, but. She's in Jacksonville, Florida? I'll be down there. I think later on this year. She looks exactly like you. This is insane. Yes, she does. She's gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna date you for the next 10 years and then we'll, we'll trade up. <laughs> Fuck, this is about to be the most uncomfortable Thanksgiving I've ever been to in my life. Damn. Yeah, because if you taste this good, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Uh, losing, my kids. losing your kids. You might find them. <laughs> no, that's, that's bad. But if the one in Jacksonville goes missing, mind your business. <laughs> She's in good hands. Oh, 
Got your phone? All right, let's swipe out of Instagram and see what else is in here. Now let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... No, wait. <gasps> Here's the thing, here's the thing. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. I had a lump in my breast. You had a lump in your breast? And I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram and recently. I'm best friends with my kids. Mm -hmm. And so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not gonna ask for ugly people's advice. <laughs> yeah, I totally get it. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTime you. With just a tit out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Cause like you know it's in the palm of your hand. <laughs> ah! Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay? I'm okay. Need a second opinion? <laughs> Are you sure? Text messages. Text Maggie. Is that Maggie your daughter? Maggie, that is not your angle. Uh, oh. <laughs> Where are you right now? I'm over his shit. <laughs> oh my god. Do you, <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? right. <laughs> You know you can't bring anybody home. I know. Um, your mom was stupid enough to, to give me her phone, and I was going through your guys' text history, and, uh, gross. <laughs> but I, I'm, glad, I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out. Everything's totally okay. Second opinion. Everything's totally all right. Sure did. Sure did. And, um. Well, you're a lucky motherfucker. I don't know. All right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. I bye, you. Mom. I love you. Bye, Maggie. <laughs> Hear them? What do you mean? They fucked them up. What do you mean they fucked them up? Who fucked up your titties? <laughs> the doctor? Do you have fake boobs? Fuck. Um, <laughs> prove it. <laughs> what do you? They make sounds. Like, like what? Like, like what? What? What sound do fake titties make? Cha-ching. Thank you guys for coming on this date with Christina and I. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed watching me ruin this family. What was that? What was that? What the fuck? You're lying. That did not just happen. You, was that a real thing? has a squeaky toy in her titties. And you talking to a doll. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh, oh. What? I don't think that's a mistake. I think that's the best thing to have ever happened. You can get squeaky toys inside your titties? Can you customize them like a Tesla horn? What made you get them done? Four kids. Four kids? You breastfeed? Two of them. Two of them? Damn. Because you know it goes great with cookies. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> Silicone. You, you okay? I'm crying. How are you? you? Whoa. What was that? <laughs> what was that accent? Not
Huh? <laughs> oh, that's a Vancouver accent? <laughs> no, 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 you talk like that too? Oh my God, y'all talk like yodelers and shit. <laughs> Vancouver, that shit was hot. I like it. I'm not a Vancouver. Like, it sound, like that's crazy. You sound like you're going over like a speed bump. Vancouver. Like, I, that's what's up. I like that shit. I've just never heard before. Only like yodelihi. Like, I thought that's, I think that's next, but it's not. It's different countries. I know what my is. I know. I don't. I know. <laughs>
because they're the older brother's friend. What are you guys? Yeah. Wait, you are so good at answering questions. Normally I have to pry people, and I actually don't trust you. Um. <laughs> you moved here just a few years ago. Why'd you make the move? Um, <laughs> lived in a hectic house. And then you lived in a hectic house? <laughs> Is that like a trap house in the UK? Um, what is a hectic house? It was a house share, but the landlord didn't know who was in there. You were squatting. <laughs> you were in somebody else's house, and they didn't know you were in there. That's a trap house. <laughs> and, and now you have a not-so-hectic house. You have roommates? No, I live with my boyfriend. You live with your boyfriend? This conversation's over. <laughs> Whatever. Fine, fucking stay in your hectic relationship if you want to. You, your parents? You have children? I have one. How old are you? 28. You're 28? 28 and you've got a baby. How old's your kid? Seven. Seven? Holy shit. That's not a baby. That's a roommate. So, what's your boyfriend do? Um, he at the moment is stay at home dad. Doesn't have a job. God. <laughs> so what are you doing to provide for this entire family? You're a singer and you DJ. That's so cool. I've, oh man, I've always, fuck, I wish I could sing. I'd never tell another joke for as long as I lived. <sighs> the acoustics in here are pretty good. Should we sing something? Do you guys know R. Kelly? Five, six, seven, eight. That's how old they were. What's up, ladies? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, fucking good. <laughs> so good. What's your name? I'm Logan. Fuck yeah, Wolverine shit. That's what's up. <laughs> what are you doing in the Air Force Base? I control dog fights. So like you control dog fights? You, Michael Vick? Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> when an aircraft are like attacking each other, it's called a dog fight. And you control that? Yeah. I what are you, like a, you were like a ref alpha? Stop. Well, hey, you. I'm in a satellite room and I. Like You're in a satellite room? Oh, shit. Do you talk to him? That'd be kind of. Hi, it's Logan. I know you guys are in a dog fight, but. <laughs> Do you guys want quesadillas or anything? Do you guys like X Men? Because. Where are you ladies going? You guys going to the bathroom right now? Uh, say what's up to Big Ben for me. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out! It's a move! Why is it wet? Was it in your lap? <laughs> it's weed? I'm just gonna dispose of this. Gotcha. Go ahead. Good luck. Good luck. Oh shit! Look, it's the ghost of Antonio Brown. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Thank you very much. Who brought that up here? Me. It was not you, bitch. <laughs> God. I feel like the only gift you give, there's no cure for. <laughs> for your birthday, you made me cookies? Thank you so much. Aww. You could give me some cake, too. You know? <laughs> if we're talking pastries, you know. How, uh, how old are you turning? Old enough not to get pregnant. Old enough not to get pregnant. <laughs> we'll see. Just got married. 
um, to an older man, to a zaddy. <laughs> Any zaddies in the crowd? Hi, zaddy. I see you. Zaddy. I mean, you just have a beard, but... <laughs> zaddy! Are you two together? Yeah. Hi, zaddy. <laughs> How many dates have you been on? <laughs> we got a fresh one, guys. We got a fresh one. <laughs> What do you like about her? <laughs> okay, she said she agreed to come, and that's giving Jeffrey Dahmer vibes. <laughs> Just watch your drink, babe. Watch your drink. Um, after watching Jeffrey Dahmer, like, anyone could give me a drink. My own mom, and I'm like, what'd you put in that? Um, okay, well, how's it going? Like, what are the vibes? You shared fries. Oh. Uh, you don't have to show me. I don't care. Um, why are you single, sir? <laughs> you guys are both so at, bad at answering questions. I swear to God, maybe you're perfect for each other. <laughs> <laughs> he said you threw me off since you called me a zaddy. Sir, you are zaddy, all, you are zaddy vibes. You can take care of her? Zaddy. <laughs> Do you have a house in the Hamptons? Okay. Zaddy in training. <laughs> he has a stripper boyfriend up here in the poor section. So? <laughs> Good for her. Is he hot? He looks just like you. So, yeah. <laughs> Doubt him. <laughs> Does he make good money? Yeah. Hold on, who said no? You said no? Did you used to be one? Did you really? How long ago? A while. A while. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at Mr. February, 1991. <laughs> you might not believe him by looking at me. Are there any good strip clubs in Liberty? No. You're from Ohio. I know. You know. Not from down here, though. Columbus. No. Yeah. About an hour west of Columbus. Diamonds. No. Yeah. Diamonds. Yeah. Oh, you guys work there? Yeah. Do you really? Yes. Oh, ballet? Oh. <laughs> Do you have a fun stripper name? Like poison ivy? Because <laughs> dudes be leaving your lap dances itching. <laughs> you gotta change that immediately. How, how that wasn't the first thing you thought of is beyond me. Why poison ivy? Why'd you choose that one? Was poison oak taken? <laughs> Oh, so like like the, like the superhero. Yeah. Is she a villain or a hero? What? Uh, depends on your perspective. Yes. I don't think so. <laughs> I think I Google. <laughs> I think Poison Ivy is. I think she's. A, I think she's a villain. Yeah. Who who are you here with? Uh, my sister and her friends. Hi, sister and friends. Uh, do you guys work at the same place? No. Not yet. <laughs> it's probably not good that you think your new job is gonna fail. That's not a good outlook to have. Where do you work now? I'm a See you a stripper. <laughs> I didn't know we'd have this many strippers in one show. I feel like this is usually a rush hour for y'all. <laughs> Friday night, about midnight. Man. Didn't forget about you. What was your stripper name? What's that? Jalapeno? <laughs> I wish I had one of those like rap name generators right now so, so I could figure out what mine would be. Oh man. Hot as fuck. That's so not creative. <laughs> what road did you grow up on? What road did I grow up on? Uh. Abby Lane was okay, one of them. Okay, Abby. So what was your Abby? I already don't like where this is going. First pet. First pet. What's that? First pet. 
First pet, uh, Sarah. <laughs> what? Is my stripper name Abby Sarah? <laughs> if you tip me enough, I'll tell you my pronouns. <laughs> what, what do you do now? Long story. Let's hear it. That's what my stripper name would have been. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Prove it. Prove it. No, 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 no. There's not enough money in this fucking room. Absolutely not. Bet? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a hairstylist. Yeah, bitch, you don't have the money. <laughs> Absolutely not. You think I'm gonna airdrop my dick pics to fucking great clips up there? Absolutely not. Hey, just don't forget your roots. Don't forget your roots? Right. You could die yours. Great clip. <laughs> that was great. No, it was really good. No, it was really good. Oh, man. Oh, okay, Liberty. We have to wrap things up here in a moment. Oh, no, I know. I, I, I know there's nothing else to do. I know that. You want to go to Diamonds? <laughs> yeah, we can all chip in on somebody's school supplies. Yeah. How's it together, yeah? Oh, dude, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that that sounded like the biggest lie ever. Yeah, dude, yes. <laughs> oh, man, we are so together. You don't even know how together we are. <laughs> how long have you guys uh, been together for, man? Three, four years. Three, four years. That's different numbers. <laughs> he tried to cover the whole thing. He didn't know. He's like, three, four, five, six, eight. You guys met in Des Moines. Hell yeah. And how'd you guys, uh, what, where, what is Des Moines? He's in Iowa. Fuck you, yeah. You and Trevor opened up there. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, you yes. remember me? Heckler, uh, big guy. Do I remember you? I remember you now. <laughs> you got so much for coming. No, that, that, no. That, hey, that, that, no, don't even apologize, man. It's okay, bro. You do you, okay? Shut <laughs> shut up, but do you. I haven't learned my lesson. I you're okay. You, well, you didn't learn your lesson because you're still fucking yelling, bro. It's okay, though, man. Fuck yeah. Thank you so much for sitting in the front row. I'm pissed. So much sitting in the front row. You guys not allowed to watch porn here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh if I'm telling you, you can't. No. Yeah, you have to create an account. Which, if you have a Pornhub account, you're a monster, dog. <laughs> you should not be in a position to leave reviews. Oh, we're ready for this? What? Dear user. <laughs> hey. It should say, hey, bro. That's how it should start. <laughs> Your elected officials in Virginia are required to verify your age before allowing you to access our website. Oh, website, get the fuck out of here. Oh, sorry, he's not a dot yeah, you're, you're not a dot org. org. Yeah. Yeah. While safety and compliance is the forefront of our mission, what were y'all jerking off to? <laughs> yeah, what happened in Virginia that your officials were like, we oh. gotta stop this? Hey, <laughs> School shootings! Ah! Just contact your representative before it's too late. <laughs> you gotta call a guy and be like, hey man, knock it off. <laughs> I'm trying to come over here. Oh, no, hey, you, call, you call your representative and just release the order, right? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm in fucking Florida jerking my dick off. West Virginia would never. <laughs> To be fair, that's not a website, that's a family photo. <laughs> yeah, on Facebook. <laughs> Just dentist magazines. <laughs> oh, God. You're single? No. You're married? Yeah. Where the fuck's your wedding ring? In my pocket. Why? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna lose it. No, I say it. <laughs> Why is it in your pocket? Why is it on your finger? 
Oh, these oh these men with the oh I don't like having a little ring on my finger. It hurts my finger. Yo, men are trash. Men are straight up trash. Is your birthday? You got a little sash on. I didn't have a crown, but it was hurting my head. You have a crown, but it was hurting your head. Yeah. Be stronger. <laughs> can I see the crown? She can. She can give it to me. Don't shoot her. Thank you very much. Oh, shit! Oh, man. Oh, man, look at that. I'm the mayor of San Francisco. Look at that shit. Oh, man, and if you were offended by that, let it go, let it go. The gays never bothered me anyways. <laughs> you guys going out after this, or is this the birthday celebration? This is the birthday celebration. This is it? This is a 7 o'clock event. You gotta, get, you gotta go out and get fucked up after this. That's so exciting. You what now? You work for a living. You work for a living? <laughs> Bitch, what you think I'm doing? You think I'm up here having fun? You think this is fun for me, coming out here, hee hee, ha ha, telling traumatic family stories about getting caught jerking off? You think this is fun for me? What do you do? You're an EMT? Ooh, a hero! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Is it your friend's birthday as well? No. What's, that? What's her sash? Dancing Diva. Dancing Diva? I don't like that. I don't like that. You dance? Sometimes? What about for $20? No? Good. It's way too much. Okay. This is the only sash left? Is that what you said? You know you don't have to wear a sash for her birthday, right? That's such some girl shit to do. If you don't dance, best friend, what do, what do, you, what do you do? Well, are you talking about profession or just hobby life? We'll start with profession. Oh, uh, paramedic. You're paramedic as well. Oh, nice. You guys both saving lives. Good for y'all. Now, what's this hobby? Uh, mountain biking Super. and rock climbing. Mountain biking and rock climbing. Oh, you didn't say you were a lesbian. That's awesome. <laughs> Like it was a dead giveaway. Dude. What age were you when you shifted gears? Hey, do you have pegs on your mountain bike? Where'd you meet your boyfriend? Where'd you meet your boyfriend? You in the fur hall, you didn't hear me? <laughs> he has hearing aids. You have hearing aids too? Oh man. That is one of the more beneficial STDs you could have. You don't have a boyfriend? You got it right, she's lesbian. Wait, you're really a lesbian? Shut up, for real? I knew it, dude. Oh, you didn't say it was a mountain dike. I mean, uh... Uh, a mountain bike. Don't laugh, dog. You security. You're supposed to be on a straight right now. Sex is not consistently as good as society makes it seem. Think about it. There's women here, right? Have you guys ever um, lost your virginity? <laughs> Me and you, girl. I did once. And, um... I'm sorry I just unearthed such a dark memory that you guys have been suppressing, but one day you're living life, everyone's like, oh, sex is amazing, everyone's doing it, it creates life, you have crazy orgasms, and then a guy with a shrimp dick rips open your hymen, and you're the town hoe. Sure is it? <laughs> Y'all are those scary motherfuckers, and everyone looks the same. This is like children of the corn shit. This is weird. Do you guys all talk the same until? Hi, hello. You guys all? I'm Rebecca. 
me too, me too. I'm from Idaho. Me too, me too. What's your name, dude? Gage. G gauge? Yeah. Gauge. Yeah. Like gauge? Yeah. Like gas gauge. Like gas gauge. Yeah. What type of redneck fucking... <laughs> what do you do with that hot-ass name, Gage? Uh, I build yachts. You build yachts? Yeah. Those are the boats that you guys go on for free. Uh... <laughs> you guys not allowed to watch porn here? Yeah. Yes. Wait, Yeah, you have to create an account. Which, if you have a Pornhub account, you're a monster, dog. You should not be in a position to leave reviews. Oh, we're ready for this? What? Dear user. <laughs> hey. It should say, hey, bro. That's how it should start. As you may know, your elected officials in Virginia are required to verify your age before allow you to access our website. Oh, website. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Uh, he's not a yeah, you're not, you're not you're a, a .org. .org. Yeah. <laughs> While safety and compliance is the forefront of our mission, what were y'all jerking off to? <laughs> yeah, what happened in Virginia that your officials were like, we gotta stop this? <laughs> he said too many school shootings. Before it's too late. <laughs> you gotta call a guy and be like, hey man, knock it off. <laughs> I'm trying to come over here. No, no, no. And you call you call your representatives and just release the order. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm the fucking Florida truck and I'm just oh. <laughs> West Virginia would never. <laughs> to be fair, that's not a website, it's a family photo. <laughs> Facebook? <laughs> just dentist magazines? <laughs> oh, God. Wait, are you guys like just friends? Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> Wait, so you're just like, you just like each other's personalities? Yeah, we're friends, we're friends. Fun. So you are not attracted to her? Oh, you are attracted to her. Oh, so you're waiting for her to one day be like, have a couple too many drinks and be like, you're cute. <laughs> Are you in the friend zone? Oh, you're chilling. Okay. That is different. That is different. That is different. Chilling and friends are very different. Do you know the difference between chilling and friends? Are you her friend? Are they chilling? Fucking lie to me again. He has a stripper boyfriend up here in the poor section. So? Good for her. Is he hot? So, yeah. <laughs> Doubt him. Does he make good money? Hold on, who said no? You said no? Did you used to be one? Did you really? How long ago? A while. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at Mr. February, 1991. You might not believe what I'm looking at, but... Are there any good strip clubs in Liberty? No. No. You're from Ohio. I know. You know. Not from down here, though. Columbus. No. About an hour west of Columbus. No. Nope. Diamonds? Oh, you guys work there? Do you really? Oh, ballet? Do you have a fun stripper name? Yes, Ivy. Like Poison Ivy? Because dudes be leaving your lap dances itching. You gotta change that immediately. How, how that wasn't the first thing you thought of is beyond me. Why Poison Ivy? Why'd you choose that one? Was Poison Oak taken? Uh, I like Marvel and DC a lot. Oh, 
Oh, so like like the, like the superhero. Is she a villain or a hero? What? Depends on your perspective. I don't think so. <laughs> I think I can Google. I think Poison Ivy is. I think she's a. I think she's a villain. Who who are you here with? Hi, sister and friends. Uh, do you guys work at the same place? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> it's probably not good that you think your new job is gonna fail. That's not a good outlook to have. Where do you work now? I'm a See you a stripper. <laughs> I didn't know we'd have this many strippers in one show. I feel like this is usually a rush hour for y'all. Friday night, about midnight. Man. Didn't forget about you. <laughs> what was your stripper name? All Pena. What's that? All Pena. All Pena? <laughs> I wish I had one of those like rap name generators right now so, so I can figure out what mine would be. That's so not creative. <laughs> what road did I grow up on? Uh, Abby Lane was one of them. Abby, I already don't like where this is going. First pet. First pet. What's that? First pet. First pet? Uh, Sarah. What? Is my stripper name Abby Sarah? <laughs> if you tip me enough, I'll tell you my pronouns. <laughs> What do you do now? It's a long story. Long story? <laughs> That's what my stripper name would have been. <laughs> Prove it. No, 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 no. There's not enough money in this fucking room. Absolutely not. Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a hairstylist. Yeah, bitch, you don't have the money. Absolutely not. You think I'm gonna airdrop my dick pics to fucking great clips up there? Absolutely not. Hey, just don't forget your roots. Don't forget your roots. Right. You could die yours. <laughs> that was great. That was really good. That was really good. Oh, man. Oh, okay, Liberty. We have to wrap things up here in a moment. Oh, no, I know. I, I, I know there's nothing else to do. I know that. Want to go to Diamonds? <laughs> yeah, we can all chip in on somebody's school supplies. Yeah.